Hey, good morning, family. Welcome to today's inspirational vitamin. Uh, this is going to come from Luke chapter 24. And <clears throat> we're actually going to start off over in verse 36. Uh, but we're going to focus on one particular verse. Um, starting off in verse 36. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish. And he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead and the third day, on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And he goes on and he um, talks about the Holy Spirit coming and things of that nature. But um, the thing that really stood out to me about this, of course, this is after Jesus was raised from the dead. <clears throat> and he'd already been with them for a little bit, uh, meeting different people at different times. And so this wasn't something, this wasn't his first appearance to anyone. Um, this is... It probably actually happened several times with different people. But for whatever reason, they were still startled and frightened. They still doubted, right? And I think that's how we can be. Um, we hear about miracles of God and how God did this in this situation for this person. And he did this in this situation for this person. But it's difficult for us to believe that that ourselves. Um and so when he finally appears to these, these people, they're like, oh, my gosh, it's a ghost, so on and so forth. And he's like, nope, not a ghost. See, flesh, blood, bones, uh, I'm not a ghost. So Jesus gets real with them. He's like, I, I want to eat. But the thing that really, really stood out to me in verse 45, then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. Mind you, these are people that have been with the Son of God for um, up to three years at this point. Um, they had seen his life. They had seen his death. They had seen his resurrection. And their minds were still not opened. And so, um, to understand the scriptures. And so I want to put this out there. Is it possible for us to be Christians for long periods of time and our minds still not be open to understand the scriptures, to truly understand the scriptures, um, the way that God intended. Now, mind you, I'm not talking about a lot of us. We study, we know the, the Hebrew, the Greek, the Aramaic, and the, so on and so forth. We know how to pronounce all the different names in Leviticus and Numbers, um, we know all these different things, but as far as a true understanding of the scriptures, um, God's way, I want to encourage us to just pray as Cornerstone is, I believe, going into uncharted territory. Um, I'm not saying anything weird or crazy or anything like that. I think God is just calling us higher in our walk with him. And as he calls us higher, I think he wants us to, to open our minds to his scriptures, to understanding his scriptures um, on so many levels, whether that be discipleship, whether that be the Holy Spirit, um, wh whatever that is. I think that worship, God wants us to open our minds to understand what his scriptures are truly saying to us and how our lives should truly be lived uh, for him. So uh, if we can just be in prayer about that, 
I think God is going to do some amazing things. I uh, love y'all. Have a great weekend.